So I just got off of a client call and it was just awesome because it really let me know that the work that we are doing together um, is really impacting them and it's impacting all of the, the clients that they have and the people that they're going to affect. And I'm very appreciative to be able to be in this, this relationship with this client because they originally came on and they only wanted uh, some sales help. And I identified that there was actually some, some bigger, more underlying issues happening inside the business. And so I transitioned that initial um, work that we were doing together. And I said, hey, let's, let's hop on a call and let's talk about some of these things. And I used a very uh, successful, predictable sales framework to walk them through, even though we have already been doing work together, because I noticed that there was something else uh, that had to be addressed. And I was not going to be out of integrity and coach them on something that they hadn't invested in, nor had they uh, really realized was a problem. And so by getting them onto the call and actually walking them through this process, I was able to um, use my sales techniques and use the framework that I've developed in order to close the sale. And, um, and so it went from somebody who had invested just a little bit into somebody who invested a lot by comparison, and they made a swift, powerful decision once they were able to see where the gap was between where they were and where they wanted to go. Now, the reason why I, I mentioned this is because you might be somebody who has a business and you're helping people in a coaching or consulting capacity. And either you're already doing work with them and you notice that you could be doing more, but you don't want to be out of integrity by coaching somebody who hasn't necessarily invested in themselves for that extra thing, or it's somebody who's brand new who you're prospecting and you want to walk them through a very proven, profitable, predictable framework. And what I've realized is that I, I just got off of this call, but I just feel so awesome because man, has it been a ride for myself. I remember getting out of the Navy at the end of 2013 and not knowing exactly what I was going to do. And I knew that I just wanted to go into some type of like information marketing, information product type of service. And I eventually st I started as a life coach, very broke life coach. And um, I mean, I was full of passion. I was full of enthusiasm. I just didn't know the exact techniques, tactics, and strategies in order to turn that raw, authentic, like enthusiasm into cold, hard cash inside of my, my bank account. And I realized that looking back, man, did I not know what I was doing? I mean, it, it wasn't that I just didn't know what I was doing. I didn't know what I didn't know. There were so many things that were just not even in my awareness. It was like, um, have you heard of the term like the map and the territory? And there's a big difference between the actual territory and the map that you're looking at. Well, my, my territory was so covered in the fog of uncertainty that I didn't even know that there was like, there was full continents out there. I was operating as if, you know, Hawaii was the only thing in, in my reality and in my experience. And then to discover that there's a whole world outside of, let's say, Hawaii, that's what it felt like back then. So that was eight years ago, almost nine years ago. And I have been on a long journey, a very awesome and at times very lucrative and at other times like very painful just through the lessons learned. And uh, I've invested a lot into myself. I've invested a lot of time. I've invested a lot of energy and I've invested a lot of money. And a lot of those times I invested money that I simply did not have. And uh, I like, I, I don't think I can even account on one hand how many times I have threw my hat over the fence and invested in something that really meant paying rent or paying this for this future uh, vision that I had. And, um, I'm very happy to say that because I did those things, I'm now in a place where I just kind of like, like I just got off of this call and it's like, wow, all of this, 
this insecurity that I had about not knowing how I was going to make money, all of this insecurity that I had about not knowing what I was going to do, it, it's gone. Like, I just don't have it because I know what to do. And I know that I know what to do. And I think that I had a very awesome apprenticeship whenever I was working at Traffic and Funnels. While I was there, I closed over 2.6 million in 18 months, over 250 closes. And in that amount of time, I compressed so much time in a very finite piece of, of, of period that it was like I entered a slipstream. And all of the lessons learned that would have taken me 5, 10, 15, 20 years, I was able to really compress. And so now, it, like I said, I just, I don't have that feeling because I know what to do. And I've been on so many calls. I've talked to so many different types of people that it's like a sixth sense for me. I mean, like, I don't really know a better way to, ex to explain it. But what I can say is that I've been in the creative vortex, really working on my next thing. And my next thing is helping people with relaxed, authentic sales. Now, why is it called relaxed, authentic sales? Well, when you're being authentic, you are already relaxed. It's when you are being inauthentic that you're jittery or that you are super insecure, right? I mean, isn't it true that whenever you learn something new, you're a little bit kind of like on edge, a little wibbly wobbly until you get the hang of things? But the thing is that if you channel your true authentic self combined with sales methodology that actually walks somebody through a very pleasing, very pleasant process that they're able to make a swift, powerful decision about whether they want to move forward in regards to what they've said that they've wanted, not necessarily for your program, but this person in front of you who has a problem, who has a pain, and they want a solution. Do you know exactly what to do whenever you're talking to them? Do you know exactly what to do whenever you're talking to them on the phone? Do you know exactly what to do whenever you're talking to them over messenger? Do you know exactly how to handle the objections that people bring up and how to be able to combat those objections or even better, prevent those objections from even happening in the first place? These are all things that are just a part of my operating system now. And I'm taking a few people through into the new year a very small private mastermind where I'm going to be working with these people one-on-one. -on -one. But before all that, I just really wanted to invite you to a private training that I'm holding tomorrow, Wednesday, December 15th at 5 p.m. Central. Uh, if you're in Australia, you can do the math there. I think it's pretty good for, for Australians at that point. It's probably about 9 a.m. in the morning. But case being is it's totally free to you. And I'm going to walk you through some of the things that I've gone through, some of the lessons that I've learned. And um, hey, if you would like to see what I've got going on under the hood and whether it can help you see whether it's a fit, would love to have you on this free training. I haven't done something like this in months. So I'm really excited. And um, yeah, so link is gonna be down below and I'm look forward to seeing you there. And you have a good one. Merry Christmas, happy holidays. I'll see you next time. Savvy?